top accolade global news updates. I am Soy Bifa Jackrich. Hunger was worsening among Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip, aid agencies said. As the United Nations General Assembly prepared to vote on Tuesday on an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in the two-month-old conflict between Israel and Hamas. Hundreds more civilians have died in Israel's assault on Gaza since the US on Friday vetoed a Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire. Most of the Gaza's 2.3 million people have been driven from their homes and residents says it is impossible to find and refuge or food in the densely populated Costa enclave. The UN World Food Programme has said half of the population is starving. Gazans said people forced to flee repeatedly were dying of hunger and cold, as well as the bombardments describing looting of aid trucks and sky-high prices. Israel's retaliatory assault has killed 18,205 people and wounded nearly 50,000 people, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. The 193 member General Assembly is likely on Tuesday to pass a draft resolution that mirrors the language of one that was blocked by the United States in the 15-member Security Council last week. General Assembly resolutions are now binding but carry political weight and reflect global views. Some diplomats and observers predict the votes will garner greater support than the Assembly's October call for an immediate, durable and sustained humanitarian truce. British wage growth slowed by the most in almost two years, official data showed on Tuesday. But pay is probably still rising too fast for the Bank of England to relax its tough stance against cutting interest rates, along with other signs of a cooling of the inflationary hits in the labour market. Earnings excluding bonuses were 7.3% higher in the three months to October than a year earlier, down from a growth rate of 7.8% in the three months to September. Britain's income economy is stagnating and some analysts have said it could go into a shallow recession over the coming months. Similar to the risk faced by other European nations, but many employers are struggling to fill vacancies after the British workforce contracted sharply during the pandemic. And because of post-Brexit restrictions on workers from the European Union, sterling weakened against the US dollar after the ONS data and British government's bond yields fell sharply. A Japanese court on Tuesday found three former soldiers guilty of sexually assaulting a female colleague in a victory for the victim whose battle for justice challenged taboos in a traditional male-dominated society. The case of 24-year-old former Self-Defense Forces member Rina Gonoi relates to a 2021 incident during her time in the army when she said she was pinned down by three male colleagues who simulated a sex act on her. The defendant denied that their act amounted to sexual assault, the men, aged from 29 to 31, seemed to show little expression as the judge reads out his verdict. Giving them each a suspended sentence of two years, Gonoi, who said she was subjected to persistent harassment after enlisting in 2020, alleged that the three men pinned her to the ground, pulled her legs apart and pressed their crutches against her in stimulation of a sex act. She complained to her, to her superiors at the time of the incident but later decided to leave the army when no action was taken. After Gonoi went public with her accusation in, in 2022, a rare move in a conservative society where speaking out against sexual violence has remained largely taboo. Japan's defense ministry issued a public apology. The ministry also announced that five men connected to the incident had been dismissed and four others punished and began a widespread survey of harassment in the military and military-linked entities that found more than 1,000 400 complaints. Gonoi has also lodged a civil case against her former peers and the government seeking damages for the alleged assault and the subsequent inaction despite her complaints. The cases come at an awkward time for Japan, which is trying to recruit more women soldiers into its forces and build up its military to deter an increasingly assertive China and nuclear-armed North Korea.
Islamist militants rammed an explosive laden truck into a police station in northwest Pakistan on, on Tuesday, killing at least 24 people. Two security officials said the latest devastating attack in recent months claimed by a Pakistani Taliban group, the bomb and gun attack occurred in the district of Dera Ismail Kehan on the edge of the lawless tribal regions bordering Afghanistan. The police station was being used by the Pakistani army as a base camp, they said, adding that several militants first rammed the truck into its boundary wall, then others attacked with guns. The feared military ammunition stored inside might have also exploded. There was no official confirmation of the death toll. The army's public relations wing did not respond to a request for a comment. Interior Minister Safraz Bukti condemned the attack and expressed grief over the deaths, a statement from his office said. In a statement, a Pakistani Taliban group, the Tariq e Jihad Pakistan TGP, which was emerged recently, said its militants carried out the attack aimed at the Pakistani army. It was not immediately clear whether the group was linked to the main Tariq e Taliban Pakistan TTP group of Islamic and sectarian militants, which has targeted the state and its agencies for years, seeking to overthrow the government and replace it with rule based on their harsh brand of Islamic law. to make her epic games has prevailed in its high-profile antitrust trial over alphabet google which alleged the play app store operated as an illegal monopoly in a ruling that if its hold could upend the entire app store economy jurors found the epic on all counts a court filing showed after more than a month of trial in epic's lawsuits which accused google of taking action to quash competitors and charge unduly high fees of up to 30 percent to app developers the court in january will begin work on what remedies to implement the ruling max is stunning defeat for google which alongside apple operates one of the world's largest app stores if the ruling holds it has the potential to give developers more sway over how their apps are distributed and how they profit off them google said it will appeal we will continue to defend the android business model and remain deeply committed to our users partners and and the brothers android ecosystem wilson white vice president of government affairs and public policy at google said in an emailed statement lawyers for the two companies made their final argument on monday morning and the federal judge handed the case to the jury less than four hours earlier with the instruction that the decision must be unanimous among epic's allegations were that google illegally ties together its play store and billing service meaning developers were required to use bots to have their apps included in the store while the play store represents a much smaller chunk of google's revenue compared to its massively profitable search business it is symbolically important as the central gatekeepers to billions of mobile phones and tablets google may be compelled to allow for more app stores on android power devices and lost revenue from the cuts takes out of in-app purchases that is the size of Top Accolade Global News Updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Tuesday.